Hey, feet. What? what? Are you trying to say those boots are clean? I can see something hanging off them. Doesn't like rose petals. Thank you. She's broken arm, and I'm the only one who can look after her. Look, will you stop following me? You're doing me head in. I know it's my first day, but I have to go. Look, I'll be gone a week, two max. Fine, whatever. Go, off you go. Thanks, one. But don't expect pain. Why are you giving your mum a hard time? Why is that any of your business? You want to get your facts straight. I've just employed the biggest waste of space in the world, but I did it because I needed a mechanic. Not for your mum. I don't do favours. Yeah? So, uh, what were you two talking about, then? She wasn't very happy about it. She's done a few things she regrets, and most of them work over at that garage. So lighten up, kid. It's not the end of the world. It's not worth starting any fires over, do you know what I mean? Now, she can handle it. I don't see why you can't. Are we done yet? OK, I've had enough of this. Just give me my phone. I'm not sure I can remember where I put it. Oh, for God's sake, Carl. Why are you so desperate to get it back? Because it's mine. So not because of the photo? What photo? Like you don't know. I've got loads of photos. Mostly of Aaron, so what's your point? Have you got any of me? Hmm, is that what this is about? No, it's about you and Cameron. You've lost me. Have I? Well, I better jog your memory then, aren't I? Give it to me. Oh, you did it in the cellar. Classy. You've got no right to read them. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Meet me round the back. Round the back of where? And two kisses. Oh, sweet. It was nothing. It was one off. How'd you end up in York then? It's all in here. Was that a one off as well? It's over. It's been over for months. So, what about at your engagement, do? I saw you. You didn't see anything. You can't off because nothing happened. Well, it's not really me you're going to have to convince, is it? No, Debbie can't find out. No, she can't, because it will break her heart. She might even lose the baby. You can't do that to her. Don't turn this round on me. I've done nothing wrong. Please, Carl, I'm begging you, just give me my phone! Yeah, that's not going to happen. So what is? You can go now. What? I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but don't worry. I'll let you know. There's the door. Drew used to come to me when she was ill. Oh, Ashley, just he's come to me. She's confused. I bet she'd hate to see how upset you are. I just want to see her, give her a hug, tell her it's going to be okay. Will a hug from me do? No. Right, I've got to get back to work. I'm meant to be on a bun run. So you're going to walk with me or are you going to sit there all day? Ooh, what to do? The walking thing. Yeah, good choice, Marla. No. Alan's taken some pork chops out of the freezer for his tea. Talk about living life on the edge. <laughs> hey, you lot. Once I get my cash, I'm off visiting my fancy man. I bet neither of you two have got out like that to look forward to. Oh, my God. Betty's got more of a life than me. Hmm? So you're going to do that equity release thing? I don't like the idea of it going to a stranger. I'd rather sell it to someone I know. Well, why don't you talk to Declan? Bet you could afford it. Oh, oh we don't need go and rent it out. No. And Father, it went to someone I care for. Someone like you. Me? Well, Biff sold it to me cheap. And I'd like to do the same for you. Oh, that's really nice of you. <laughs> but it's a big decision. And where would you live? Ah, well, <laughs> I suppose you could say that's the catch. I would be staying on there till I pop me clocks. So I'd be your landlady? Mm -hmm. Except I won't be paying your rent. B 
because I'd have sold it to your cheap, remember? It's not the child's fault. She could have thrown up anywhere. Preferably in her own home and preferably not in my very expensive shoes. Well, they don't look too bad. You had no right to bring her here and you had no right saying you look after her. You needed Rodney to work. I was being helpful. My tummy hurts. Your granddad won't be long. Well, he should have been here ages ago. He is stuck in traffic. He's what? He just called a few minutes ago. Why don't you ever pass on messages? She just did. Well, he should be here. <coughs> it's traffic. What's the big deal? We all get stuck in it, even you. But we don't all get stuck with... that. Is she all right? Yeah, she's a little angel, not remotely annoying. She's been as good as gold. Well, that one's not much better either. I'm sorry, Edna. You've nothing to apologise for. Except letting people walk all over him. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sick of it, I've had enough. This is a business and it's about to get a lot tougher whether you guys like it or not, OK? Did you find your phone? No. So, can we go now, then? Oh, the shops will be shutting in a bit. I've got 20 quid burning an hole in my pocket. Can we do this another time? I'll put the afternoon off. Can't really afford to sit around doing nothing, can't I? Losing my wages. I mean, saving every penny for this wedding. Yeah, I know. So let's go, then. There's a bus in ten minutes. We could have a scoot around the shops, go for a drink somewhere, make a night of it. Diane will cover for you. Shut up! I'm sorry, love. I'm sorry, I just can't think straight. It's all right. I'll uh, go and make the kids from school. No, you don't have to. I do. I know I'm getting on somebody's nerves. I know when I need to stop. Oh, there I go again. I just need to learn when to shut it. Dan. Twice in one day, people will talk. Took care. Good for you. Brit? Yeah, thanks. Why did you really take Alex on? Beginning to ask myself the same question. He's already let me down, gone off to see his gran. Plus, that accent goes right through me. I didn't do it for you, if that's what you're wondering. Cross my mind. Wow. You must have a very high opinion of yourself. Or oh, whether you meant it or not, you've done me a favour. I've done you more than one, if you remember. But not that I meant saving Holly's life. Not grassing your arse this sum. Right, right. So what are you after in return? He says I'm after anything. I might just like his company. Not in the way that you do, Yeah, but... can we not mention that? I'm not making any promises. Well, thanks, anyway. Actually... There is something you could do for me. I knew it. My dad needs a bit of work. You want me to give Zach a job? That's all I'm asking. I'll think about it. She's going to be devastated. I wouldn't be surprised if she walks out. Sure, Matt will win around. Well, he might seize the opportunity and get himself a new receptionist. Well, he can't. I made that very clear. I'm scared. No. Are you going somewhere? I thought you'd gone home. Please tell me this isn't what I think it is. Game over, Carl. Give me my phone. What, not even a please? Oh! <laughs> oh, go on, frisk me. I like that. Where is it? Tell me where it is! You're getting warmer. Please! Please let me carry on being a bitch. You've acted like you were so much better than me, and now look at you. It turns out you're human and you've messed up like the rest of us. If it was just me that was going to get hurt, then I wouldn't care. But there are so many people, Carl. There's Debbie, there's Dan. Oh, yes. Let's not forget about him. The love of your life. I do love him. Nobody's buying that. I don't want to hurt him. Then why did you do it? You gave me hell over Eve. Oh, this was different. Tell me. You didn't love Eve. <laughs> so you're saying this is love? I wish it wasn't. Because if it wasn't, then I could forget all about it. But I loved Cameron so much that I didn't care about anything or anyone. 
I almost feel sorry for Dan. Well, then don't tell I him. I said almost. He's going to be so humiliated. But then, you'll probably get a kick out of that. Why would I? Oh, you're forgetting what happened on our wedding day? What you did to me? All over some meaningless fling. Meaningless fling? You might have thought it was that, but you broke my heart. Yeah, and you tore me apart in front of everyone. In front of my kids. You, you pretended you were pregnant for months. You need to forget about that, Carl. It was in the past. I could. But there is one thing that I can't forget about. My 30 grand. That's what this is about, is it? You want revenge? No. I want my money back. Or I'm gonna blow your little world apart. It's up to you. <laughs>